Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake and Mariah. And this is a patient who had headaches. They had some little white matter lesions probably related to migraines. But we noticed something incidentally here on the right side. The petrous portion of the right temporal bone uh, had some area of brightness on the T2-weighted sequence. So if we look here, we see the internal auditory canal over here. And right in front of that, we see this area. And this is the petrous apex. And sometimes it'll be black because it's pneumatized, has air in it. Other times it'll be bright on this sequence because it has fatty marrow in it. And on this case, it looks like this is normal marrow on the left. You can see the clivus going over here sideways, nice and homogeneous. So this is um, not pneumatized. And there's some bone over here. But on this side, it's asymmetrically bright and well-defined. So there's a little, uh, looks like a fluid pocket over here on the right-hand side. Now in the T2-weighted sequence, we look over here. And if it were just a simple fluid collection, it would be dark, but instead it's bright and very similar to the marrow over here. So it is a hyperintense T1, hyperintense T2 signal intensity structure, or process rather. And this is the flare sequence. If we go to flare, we see, wait, this is really hyperintense in the flare sequence. And this is again down in the right petrous apex, and it is compatible with a cholesterol granuloma. They usually happen right here, usually hyperintense on the T1 and T2 rated sequences and also in the flare like this. Seems like I always see them incidentally. And you can have bright fluid signal intensity over here related to petrous apocytis, infection in this area. That'll look a little bit more irregular, sometimes with edema around the, the margins and the enhancement. We don't have enhancement on this patient. But this seems uh, better well-defined and sharp lobulated margins in the uh, bright T2 signal. It all looks uh, pretty uh, typical for a cholesterol granuloma. But always think about the possibility of the Gradinigo syndrome, again, which is petrous apocytis, to make sure that that's not a possibility and include that in there if you're worried. But again, it looks like a cholesterol granuloma, not terribly uncommon. Usually, again, it's in its typical location. It doesn't have to be here. It can be elsewhere in the temporal uh, bone. But uh, often I see it right here in the petrous apex. And that's it. So uh, the last thing to think about is sometimes you have flowing blood in the veins and they'll go past here. So I've seen a couple or a few times where people have called. I've almost got faked out myself where um, the flow will cause bright signal in this region, but it's really just venous flow. So look out for that first and then um, think about cholesterol granuloma and petrous apocytis. And thank you very much.